And Homeless Pimp is not here. Um, he did not come to Los Angeles with me because he has COVID. And he wanted to smuggle himself onto that plane and kill people with a cough. And I said, Pimp, we can't do that yet because we don't have a live stream set up on the Patreon. If you're going to start doing that stuff, then we have to monetize it the right way. And I'd ra <laughs> And that's the reason why I'm saying no is we don't have proper monetization rights of you killing people with a cough on the flight. But Homeless Pimp is fine. We're going to post. I'm going to send him. I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys Alex Aldea on the pod. Pimp will put it in because Alex is dressed like Homeless Pimp. Alex, is. he looks like Homeless Pimp. If home, He looks like the Russian version of Homeless Pimp. <laughs> Whatever Homeless Pimp looks like in Moscow, that's how Alex is dressed right now. And, um, and, it's, and, it's, and it's great. Um, and, and, and I'm in Los Angeles. Um, I, I, the plan was, was to try to get you know, all these guests on. And uh, let's just say it didn't work out that way. I'm a guest on about nine other podcasts. Um, so I will probably, uh, I'm going home tomorrow and I'll probably be sick for the rest of the week because I'm just working myself too much. And I said I was going to try to eat healthy. And then I spun out of control today and I had a jalapeno cheese bagel with egg, spinach, mushrooms, chipotle mayo, and a muffin and an iced coffee. And then Alex said, I also ordered you guys a mini breakfast. And I said, ooh, that'll be good. I haven't eaten since last night. And it's a fucking lie. Okay. I'm already about. <laughs> 3,000 calories in. It's not even 10 a.m. yet because I'm off the rails, folks. I know that I said to you guys, I made a promise to you. I said three weeks ago, I said I weigh 241 pounds. I said I will be 201 pounds by uh, uh, June 1st. And if I'm not 201 pounds, I said I would cut off my right hand. So this way I don't eat anymore and I'd just be a nub. But I've changed the game. Now I, I want to say by June 1st, I'm going to be 261 pounds. Let's go 20 pounds the other way because that's where it's going. I can't stop eating. I'm stressed out. Um, um, uh, and it's just, and I can't stop thinking about muffins. All I want all day, every day is just to toast a blueberry muffin and eat it with fucking butter because that's what I want to do because, um, you know, I'm putting up a front, but my life is spiraling, but I'm not going to do drugs. I promise you that's the one Chrissy chaos promised you is I will never do drugs. I might do steroids again just to get a little bit of boost, but I'm not going to do drugs and the good that's the good thing or oh, if i do do drugs you guys know where i'll do them on the chris and eddie show at patreon.com slash christy comedy <laughs> see that's what it is it's all about because i took mushrooms i don't know if you got for the fans first of all let me tell you something for the people listening to this podcast that are not on the patreon it's really got i will confidently tell you now at this point you're missing like a like a huge portion of this show dude on the Patreon at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy for all levels, five dollars and up, I took mushrooms on the podcast with Gianni Palo, who's a actor from the show Ghost, who most of you guys hated on the podcast. But we did <laughs> but <laughs> but we did we did mushrooms and it was fantastic. I, I loved it. I felt um I took psilocybin. It did feel like a little bit of a reset. The only issue for me, though, is it kind of reset me in a worse place, you know, not like a not like a net, not, not like a scary place, but just the worst place, because now it's like now because not it, it, it's weird. I don't want to say worst place. I'm happier with my body and happier with how I look. But that's causing me now to not want to go to the gym or eat right, because I've just said after the mushrooms, I just said, I love you, Chris. I looked in the mirror and said, I love you. I love you the way you are. And so, so now, like, every time I feel like a little fat jiggle when I hit a speed bump, I don't automatically want to, you know, I don't automatically want to kill myself, and I don't, like, you know, just go look at, you know, shirtless guys and cry and wish I had their bodies. I don't do that anymore. I just say, listen, I have tits, and maybe one day a little bit of milk will come out. That's how I feel about it, you know? So, so it's an interesting place where I'm at mentally because I do feel free I'm in the fog I'm in the fog I know because that's what you guys worry about you worry when I'm out of the fog I'm in the fog I'm free I'm open I'm gay I promise you that I'm fully in the fog ready to go